Caltrans once again urging everyone who can to stay off the roads and stay at home. The wind can pick up kind of unannounced. And it can really make the roadway literally disappear in front of your eyes. Caltrans has decided to shut down the westbound lanes of I-80 due to the low visibility and powerful winds. And several spinouts have caused them to turn eastbound traffic around at Drum Forbay. With no estimate on when they'll reopen that e that either side. We're also keeping an eye on Highway 50 where there are chain controls, but no massive closures just yet. Kelsey Thord is live in Truckee tonight. Kelsey? Hey, Devin. Yeah, so right now conditions are okay when it comes to the snow. The big thing, though, is the wind, like you guys were talking about. I've covered some hurricanes in the past, and we've definitely had some significant wind gusts come through here. But you can see we're in downtown Truckee right now, and it has been snowing here consistently all day long. You can see the wind kind of pushing some of the snow off the roof of that gas station across the street here, and it looks like a snow plow is just coming through. And that's what we've been seeing all day. They've been working really hard to clear these roads. We were out driving around earlier. We saw a bunch of people out and about. We were kind of getting a feel for how they're braving this storm, and we even saw a couple of surprises. The snow blowers, shovels, and plows were out in full force Friday, doing their best to keep the roads and sidewalks clear. And we get people stuck here in the snow. There was barely a time in the day snow wasn't falling, making for a headache for drivers trying to get around. I'm about to go home and not leave for the next couple days. <laughs> for the most part, businesses stayed open, but that may not be the case this weekend. The storm is expected to last through Sunday, and locals told us they can already sense it's going to be a big one. A lot of times we have the forecasts that look sort of uh, shocking, and then they drift downward. This one seems to be uh, drifting upward. At the local grocery store, we spotted one woman snowshoeing. She told us she walked two miles from her home to pick up some last minute essentials. I first started just walking and I fell twice, so then I went back and put on the snowshoes, yeah. Well, at least you got all the right yeah. gear. Yeah, also the weather is nice. I thought it's nice to go out, so. You guys have a problem with the lights? Yes. yes. Oh, yes, please. I would love to take a problem. Also braving the weather at that same grocery store, the local Girl Scout troop. They told me they weren't about to let any storm ruin what was supposed to be their first day selling cookies. It yeah. turned out to be a snow day. It was originally going to be four to six, I think. Uh, yeah, but, but it turned out to be 12. Yeah. So you guys were dedicated. You're like, we're not going to um, let this snow stop yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> you are brave. Thank you so much for supplying our community with cookies and yeah. good luck with the Girl Scouts. While the weather may have helped the Girl Scouts sell cookies, it was a pain for everyone else trying to get around town. Conditions only deteriorated as the sun fell, and everyone is now just bracing for more to come this weekend. And you can see right now it's pretty gusty. The uh, wind's kind of swirling around, making the snow go all over the place. And this is really what we've been seeing. Uh, you know, the conditions out there when the Girl Scouts were out there were definitely a little better than it is now. I don't know if they're going to be able to go back out to that Safeway in the morning, Devin. We're expecting a lot more snow overnight. There's potential that some people could wake up in the morning and not even be able to get out of their house. So this is really just the first big day, but there's still a lot more to come. You know, Kelsey, we've all learned through hard earned experience that with any weather event, there's kind of a window. There's a window when you can make a run to the grocery store. There's a window when you can make a run to the to the gas station. And then after that window closes, it's really, really inadvisable to be on the road. Is that window open or is that window closed at this point? Should people really just avoid those roads right now? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting, right? Because we're in Truckee, so this is an area where people that live here, they've dealt with this often. But it also is really sketchy out right now. When that wind gets whipping, you have zero visibility on the road. So I think everybody's cautioning people, if you have all the supplies you need, just stay home. If you're really in need of something, a couple of the stores are staying open. You just got to drive really careful and make sure, you know, if you're in those upper, upper elevations where you have a lot of snow, you know, there's a chance you might not even be able to get out. They're doing their best to keep the roads clear. We've seen a lot of those snow plows go by, but there's only so much they can do, you know?
All right, well, those same cautions apply to you guys. Stay safe. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.